Ah, ya está feo acá atrás. Pero es el mero barrio del Pepito de aquel lado, entonces hay como... In the heart of Mexico City lies an infamous neighborhood named Tepito. It's widely known as the roughest neighborhood in this town, hence its nickname El Barrio Bravo, which means the fierce neighborhood. Good afternoon from Tepito. So one of my first few videos I've ever made here on YouTube was here of the market of Tepito. It's an infamous market here in Mexico City. It was also one of the worst videos I've ever made. So I took the time to hide this video and I'm remaking it now that I'm here in Mexico City. My intern Malika is back after a few days by myself. She came here to join me. And here we are gonna explore Tepito, the market of Tepito. So this historically was actually one of the biggest markets of Chinese electronics, or electronics, I believe. And then gradually as uh, Chinese exports began to kind of flood the markets here. It began to be known more as a counterfeit market. So you'll find all sorts of counterfeit goods here. Uh, solo cosas de ver para comprar. Ah, aquí en la esquina hay una plaza de los chinos. Ahí está, está grande, hay varias plazas. Okay, uh -huh. gracias. As you can see, there's so many different types of goods here. There's bags, book bags, jewelry, medicine, boxing equipment. Anything you need, you could probably find in this market. Hola, perdón. ¿Tiene máscaras que se pueden usar de, de tela? No. No. ¿Qué con lo tienes? Perdón, ¿cuánto es esta máscara? A cinco pesos la pieza, cuatro mayoreo, a partir de cinco piezas. Cualquiera que te guste, excepto esta. Esta sale en diez. Ok, voy a comprar esta. ¿Uno nada más? Sí. So we ended up buying this this mask for five pesos, which is like 25 cents. Hello cheap. Hello cheap. ¿Cuáles de estos son los más baratos que tienen? Cuestan 100. 100. ¿Y y esos que están acá? ¿Por qué son más más caros que esos? Este es, de, este es más reciente. Este es más reciente, es el Pro 5. ¿Se podría, es posible probar para ver la, escuchar la calidad? Lo tengo en blanco, negro y ro rosa. Ah, uh, tal vez en negro. So we're gonna go demo the headphones. They're on sale for around 12 bucks. Uh, we're gonna go see what the quality is like. I have like a really cheap pair of headphones and the, the quality is not that good. So we're gonna go try them out. And they don't, uh, they don't have uh, earbuds, which is good because I lose them a lot. ¿Y se puede pasar tocándolo? ¿No le podía dar por 200? ¿220? And look at all of these uh, speaker headphones they have. They have JBL, some other ones I haven't heard of, some really cool looking designs. It's really interesting. Undoubtedly, probably mostly fake, but good prices and maybe even as good quality as the real things. Ah, okay. Let's see. Cinco minutitos, okay. So, so we're gonna have to wait five minutes here to demo out these headphones because they might not have been charged. But yeah, moment of truth. Pero está bueno. Super bien. Sí. Okay. So we're buying it for five dollars, which is hundred pesos. So they got these uh, InPods 12. They look like AirPods. Uh, they're pretty good. Happy with my purchase. Five dollars. So every now and then I'm passing people with like little walkie-talkies strapped to them, and from a previous video I saw on YouTube. There are people that were claiming that these people were uh, maybe involved in organized crime and that's why they have these walkie-talkies, but I'm not sure. But yeah, every now and then I pass people with like walkie-talkies and you can hear the static. Perdón, ¿todos son 3 por 110? Sí, de aquí para allá, güey. ¿Y estos que están acá? 50. 50, okay. 
¿Por cuánto me puede vender uno de esos? 50. 50, ok. Uno. Prepare sus postres. Sabrosa presa. Sabrosa presa. I ended up buying some underwear. I packed so minimally on this trip. And I was so proud of being able to fit everything into one bag. That I, I basically, I didn't bring any underwear. So I've been, I've been trying to survive on one piece of underwear and I've been having a wash it constantly. So now I have two pieces of underwear. I have a fake Calvin Klein boxer. But yeah, it's pretty amazing how these cars behind us can actually manage to drive through all this traffic, all this foot traffic. But somehow they can still make it. My intern Malika is entertained by these anime shirts. They look pretty sweet. ¿A cuánto son las camisas? A 100 una pieza, amigo. Sí. Te llevas de 5 piezas a 90 y de 10 a 80. ¿Y 100 es gratis? <laughs> so each shirt here is $5. And they're, they're pretty nice shirts. ¿Sabe aquí si hay un lugar donde hay una tienda donde vende como uh, cerveza afuera o algo así? De este lado no hay, pero... Más allá. Ah, más allá, pero la verdad está feo. Ok, está feo. No, no tengo. Sí la trabajo, pero ahorita no ha llegado. Yo creo que la otra semana llega. So, uh, the lady warned us that going this way is a little more, a uh, little more on the dangerous side of things. Because this side of Tepito is more commercial. But as you go this side, you turn into the more dangerous part of the neighborhood. Uh, but that's also where you can find a drink. So we're going to go see if we can find ourselves a beer here in Tepito. So we are now approaching the uh, the area the lady warned us about, but it's also where I can find the beer. So as you can see, all the streets are like not as commercial, a little less people. This girl in front of me got a bulletproof vest on. Maybe it's a fashion thing. No sé, don't know. So this part of uh, Tepito is like super desolate over here. It looks like there's a few stores that way. Let's try not to speak too loud in English so I don't stick out like a black sheep. Hola, perdón. Uh, ¿Vende cerveza? ¿Cerveza? Sí. No. ¿Sabe dónde aquí puedo encontrar? Hasta allá, derecho, a la siguiente esquina. Ok, gracias. Gracias. So it feels like every block that we walk on, it just gets emptier and emptier. So all these stalls here are empty. I'm not sure if they're always empty if they close down early, but just... Hola, ¿vende cerveza? Sí, amigo. Modelo y Victoria. Modelo y Victoria. Okay. Gracias. ¿Cuánto es total? Es el único. 38. So I finally ended up buying my beer. Yeah, I guess I can get out of here now. Mission complete. Got my boxers, got my fake AirPods, got my beer, and my mask. Oh yeah, I told you my fake Calvin Klein boxers. Now we have to figure out a way out of here. It's kind of hard to catch a cab here. If we keep going this way, it gets worse and worse. Maybe that way we can end up finding a ride, I don't know. I don't know what that was. So we survived Marcos at the Pito and now we are going into the train station. This is my first time going into the Mexico City tra train. Uh, it's kind of dark here. I don't know if you'll see me, but this train system, it's apparently one of the most well-organized train systems in the world, actually. There was something interesting about it I listened to on a podcast and I don't remember anything about that podcast, but I do remember it was one of the most well-organized, user-friendly train systems in the world. So it seems like the attendant responsible for uh, tickets is not here, so everyone behind me is pissed off because uh, there's no way to get into the train station. And normally I would consider hopping the train station, but there's a cop right there. And I don't want to go to Mexican jail right now. The cop let us all inside because there was no gas station, or no ticket attendant. 
And now we are going down to Plaza Garibaldi, otherwise known as the plaza where all the mariachis reside. It's a cool little square. And I'm hoping I'm heading the right direction. So we're going Dirección Buena Vista. And Dirección Buena Vista is down here. So we have two stops to Plaza Garibaldi. So we are inside. We're inside the Mexico City train. Metro, whatever. First train I've been on here in Mexico City. It looks as depressing as the old trains in New York City used to kind of look like before they had like the new upgraded stuff. They still look kind of depressing though, but yeah. It still has like a graffiti, just like a New York City train. <laughs> we are now in Plaza Garibaldi. We're gonna go up, find yourselves a mariachi. I have a video up from last year where I ended up hiring a mariachi band. And they were actually the worst, uh, probably worst mariachi band on that score at that time. They're off tune, out of sync. Uh, it was pretty funny though, and I really did enjoy the song. Um, but hopefully, we're gonna find ourselves a much better one this time. Yo, peep the sign behind me. It's an advertisement for a bathroom. Lose weight in five minutes, guaranteed. It's the best marketing I've seen yet. So we are here, we've made it to uh, Plaza Garibaldi. You can't see very well, but there are mariachi people, members, bands, kind of all around us. They hail from different parts of Mexico, so they, they all have like uh, the different styles, different songs that they play. Uh, but they're all here for hire basically and for as low as like five to seven dollars you can get one song It's a pretty good deal because every mariachi band has like at least three or four members someone heard me speaking But uh, no ahorita gracias They they are all just waiting here to play. It's pretty cool and we're probably gonna I'm gonna go find the song because I I, I like hearing it. Uh, there's a particular song I have in mind I forget the name of it, but I think if I hum it I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to figure out what song it is. Perdón, ¿a cuánto cuesta una canción? Ya sí, con ganas. Yo la cobro 300 y la dejo 200. 200. 200. Sí, una. Ya si pides de 5 en adelante, pues te da otro precio. Ya te rebajo. 200 por una canción, that's 10 bucks. Pero completita para ver el video. Ok. Puede ser la, ¿cuánta gente son? Somos 7. 7. Sabe la canción, no me recuerdo el nombre, es el Ay, 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 ay. Ah, sí, sí, ese. Miguel. All right, they got the song. That one. That one. They got the song. I hummed it. It's better than Shazam. So they're getting their band together. There's seven of them. Oh, yeah, one, two, three, four. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hola. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo son de las camaritas que se mueven así? Ah, no, no lo traes una en internet que, que él se mueve, no, o sea, está así la cámara, pero aunque no lo haga así, la cámara queda fija. Oh, no, no, esa no es, no, no, no. Cuidado, pero es más o menos así, no la otra. Sí, sí, así trabaja. Ajá, o sea, eso la mueve uno así, aunque no lo hagas así, sí. se queda fija la cámara. Es bien sable, sí, esta ¿verdad? cámara, sí. Es que anda consiguiendo una de esas, ¿tú? Sí, ah. no regalada. <risa> así, como está.
beautifully played. I really liked it. If you guys are ever in Mexico City, you should definitely check out this square. It's pretty awesome. There's bars all around us. Live music in front. But that's pretty much it, folks. I had my, uh, my beer in Tepito. Got some fake underwear and AirPods, and now I got to listen to some mariachi. Until next time.